Hello guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how you can add alerts to your streams. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a longer one because we're going to be covering how to add alerts using Streamlabs, using Stream Elements, and how to make your alerts a little bit more advanced with Stream Elements. I'm Scout for Plays, and I hope you guys enjoy. No matter which streaming service you are using, you're going to want to make sure you have an image file or video WebM file ready for your alerts. But if you want professional looking alerts, that's where the sponsor of today's video comes in. Own.tv is a group of professional graphic designers that make professional looking alerts and designs for your stream so that you can focus on being a streamer. Since today's video is about alerts, I'm going to showcase through their alerts. You can go to the link in my description, head on over to alerts, and browse through the collection of over 50 alerts, many of which are animated. The cool thing is a lot of their alerts are also available in a package deal, so you can get face cam borders, transitions, intermission screens, starting soon screens, and more with your alerts. Having a good looking stream is a key step to start growing. If you would like to up your stream quality and support the channel, the link is in the description to get yours today. Okay, I'm going to be teaching you how to add alerts through Streamlabs and then through Stream Elements. Both are very similar and very good. The only thing is Stream Elements can get a little bit more advanced if you want it to, which is why I'm going to be switching very soon. But both are very good options and both will be linked in my description to get started. Let's go over with Streamlabs. The first place you can get alerts from is Streamlabs.com. I'm going to go log into it with Twitch because that's where I am streaming to. And then you're going to want to go to the left side where it says alert box. Some of you may have to go up to alert box v2 beta and just turn that off and then you'll be directed right back to the main section. Now you're going to uncheck everything you don't want alerts for, such as hosts, raids, merch, and all this other stuff. You can do whatever you want, it's just personal preference. The next thing is the widget URL. This is essentially how your alert's going to be displayed. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to copy this URL and then go over to OBS Studios or Streamlabs OBS, whichever one you're using, go add this plus sign, go to browser, and then name it whatever you want, press OK, and then you're going to copy the link right into there and press OK. It will create a red box right here, and then this is where the alert will pop up, and then this is how you can test and see what your alert looks like. Okay, so now go back to your general settings, and then don't change the background color. This doesn't have any effect on your actual alert. And then the alert delay, you can have the alert be delayed as long as you want. So from the time that someone follows, two seconds later for me, it will show up on the screen. You can change this to whatever you want. And then the rest, you're going to want to disable, zero. You can change the layout of the image and the text however you want. And then the reset stream label session automatically, I would disable that. Disable alert parries. And then use the profanity filter as you wish. Press save settings and then we can move on to follows. Okay, so here we are changing the alert for the most recent follower. If you want the alert for the subscription, you can click it right here. And keep in mind that if you ever want to test your alert and see how it looks, press test follow. And as long as you have added the browser source, it will show up right on your stream. If you are having any difficulties, feel free to join my Discord, which is linked in the description, so that I can talk to you and other people in the community who also add alerts to their stream. Now what you're going to want to do is you want to go through all these settings. Keep in mind a lot of them are preference based, so you're just going to have to test and see what you like. For me, I like having the image behind the text, and then the alert animation will fade in and fade out and then going down. Keep in mind that this is shown right here by fading in, and then it fades out and goes down when it ends. That's what that text animation is, and then you can add the image or GIF and then the sound file right here. If you want sound, you can add it. I don't like having sound for a follower alert. I change the volume and then change the duration of the alert. And then the alert text delay will basically add the text to the alert one second after the alert has started. You can leave this at zero if you want them to fade in at the same time. But you can change this as well if you have alert that you need a little bit time before the text goes on. You can disable custom HTML and CSS unless you know how to work those things. And then you can go to open font settings. This will change the font of your alert to whatever you want, size, weight. And then the color, this is the, your regular color will change. And then the highlight color will be your most recent follower or subscriber. That will be shown up in this highlighted color. You don't need to worry about variations for followers. However, if you go change the subscription alert, you can do all the same things you just did and learned for your subscription alert. However, you can go down here and it says alert variations and you can actually add a new alert when someone subscribes for three months instead of one or something like that. Or when a subscription is gifted, you can add a whole new alert for that instead of being the same old subscription alert. 
up here you can also add resub message settings where a message will actually show on your stream as well as uh, automated computer voice talking uh, text to speech for your stream um, I don't really like this to be honest but if you want uh, computer generated voice to be reading your message go ahead these are pretty simple options you know the volume security if you don't want any profanity I'd recommend putting this all the way up just to be safe you know and then make sure you press save settings when you're all done and then these should be available on your stream obviously you're gonna want to keep on going with the donations the bits and whatever other alerts you have however this is basically it and once again if you have any questions feel free to stop by my discord and now let's get started on stream elements okay over at stream elements you're gonna want to log in to wherever you're streaming to and once you have you're gonna want to go to over to my overlays that you won't have anything here so you're gonna want to create a blank overlay and you're gonna want the resolution to be 1080p press start and right over here you're gonna press add widget alerts and alert box this will automatically add all these alerts so when you press emulate you can go see what's the default and right here this is what the default alert is now in order to get these alerts into your stream this is the most important part you're gonna press this link right here you're gonna press save because you want to save everything I'm just gonna name this test for right now and once you have saved it and copied the link, you can paste that link right into OBS or Streamlabs OBS, wherever you're streaming, by going to the plus sign and adding a browser source. You can name that whatever you want, press OK, and then paste that link right in there and press OK. Now you can position this wherever you want so that when you press emulate again, go to follow alert, it will show up and you can actually move it around to wherever you want. So now essentially you already have all your alerts done, but now it's time for you to customize it. I personally don't like having a host or raid alert, so I'm going to turn those off. And I'm going to click this cog wheel to edit our follower alert. I'm going to remove the standard video and the standard sound, and you can upload your own by going to set image, press this upload, and drag and drop a file. However, I already have uploaded my image, and I'm just going to use this black spade right now. Then I'm going to change the spade to going above the text instead of right to the side. And then the alert message is name is now following. You can change this, just make sure you don't mess around with this name because that is the person that's following you, uh, name that's going to show up there. And you can change the alert duration to as much as you want. Feel free to, whenever you are testing this out, to press save and then go to emulate and press follow event. It will show right here as well as on your stream for OBS or Streamlabs OBS. Okay, so now it's time for you to design the font and all the styles with that goes along with that. You can go down to text settings and click on that arrow and it should bring up a bunch of stuff like this. You can choose the font or enable a custom font. In order to enable a custom font, all you have to do is just type in the name of the font on your PC, restart OBS Studios or Streamlabs OBS and open it again and then the alert will show that font. You can change the color right here, the size, and the spacing in between the letters and words. Down here, you can align it differently, italicize, underline, bold, all that stuff. And down here, you can add a stroke. I personally don't like strokes when it comes to alerts, but I do like a text shadow, so I would recommend enabling that for a little bit of a shadow next to your text. And then now is the highlight. The highlight text is actually the person that's following you or subscribing to you. Right here it says Karina. Karina is the one that is following me. So that is the highlighted one and that's why there's an animation of bounce in. You can change that you want. You can change the color of the highlighted one so that when I emulate this, you go to follower and it will show this right here. This is the highlighted text. Now let's say you don't like the positioning of this text and you want to move the text down even further. You can scroll up right here and go to advanced settings and you can change the margin. The margin is used to make sure the text is where you want it to be. So all you have to do is mess around with this. I think the default is at 50 or negative 50 so that when you press save you can just see that this is way too close to the image. All you have to do to change this is just to mess around and type in a number and see where the text goes. And if you don't like where it is, you're just going to have to guess and check basically. Once you are done with that, just make sure you press save. And now we can go to the animation settings. This is going to control how the image and the alert appears to the screen and goes out. I personally don't like it just like popping out of the screen. So what you can do is click this arrow right here. And there's a bunch of different animations you can do. For now, I'm just going to choose the simple bounce out, bounce in, all that stuff. I'm going to set the alert duration to two seconds. This might be a little too long. You can mess around with this right here. And then press save and we can see how this looks. And you can see that the text and the image bounces in and out a little bit. So now all you have to do is basically add it to OBS Studios if you haven't already. And this is your alert. 
Now, right here is a text appearance delay and the text disappearance offset. You don't have to worry about this unless you want the text to appear a little bit later than the image does. So see right there, it appeared like one second later. But other than that, all you have to do is just click out of this, click out of that, and do the same exact thing for the subscriber tip and cheer. The only thing that's a little bit different is when you go to subscriber alert, you can add TTS so that when someone does a subscriber message, they can read it off or the computer generated voice well. I personally don't like this. I think it's a little bit uh, noisy and it just doesn't work well with the stream. But if you like this, you can feel free to go, go ahead and do so. And then with the text settings, do the same as we did. Animation settings, same. But the variation settings is where it gets a little bit confusing, a little bit more advanced. Uh, I'm going to talk about this a little bit more later. However, if you want an entirely new alert to happen when someone subscribes for three months instead of two months, you can do it right here. Click settings and it will bring you up a whole new option to change for when someone subscribes for three months or when a subscriber is gifted. It will have all these different options for you to choose from right here. Once you're done with that, just make sure you remember to press save and your alerts are added into OBS Studios or Streamlabs OBS and you should be set to go. The next part of my video is gonna be more advanced alerts, stuff that you can do to make your stream pop a little bit more, and let's get right into it. Okay, so this is some advanced alerts you can do. What you can do is make an entire new overlay and an entire new set of alerts so you don't mess with the ones that we just created. And then what you can do is actually take your face cam border and add it as an alert, but make sure that your face cam border is a different color. So let's say that my face cam border over here, which I'm going to add right now, is blue. We can add an alert to the follower alert that when someone follows me, it turns red. Now obviously, I did not place that very carefully, but you can go ahead and make sure that your face cam border changes colors just by doing that as long as you have your regular alert also playing at the same time. You can do this by making sure you have two separate overlays for your alerts. And that's one advanced trick you can do. And another advanced trick you can do is what I said earlier, where you can essentially just make sure that when someone subscribes for three months, it's a different alert than when someone subscribes for one month. However, I do realize that this takes either a lot more designing on your part or a lot more money if you're purchasing a lot of alerts. So that's why not a lot of people have multiple alerts when someone subscribes for different months. But if you're up for that challenge and want to make your design for your stream like very, very cool and very high quality that not many other streamers have, that is something you can do. I sure hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and Check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv scar for plays. I stream every day except for Wednesdays and Fridays. I hope to see you guys there, and we'll see you guys in the next video.